My husband also is the kind of person who believes that because he is a good person, that the world is filled with other people who also are good. And he found a fellow to invest our money with, and this was quite a good bit of money. I had done well as an author and been frugal. My husband invested with a fellow, not Bernie Madoff, a fellow who told him that he would not probably make any money, but he would probably lose less money in the deluge to come. This was in 2010. In fact, that guy took every penny that we had and a little more and moved to Panama with his five brothers and their families where he still lives and, uh, and lives quite well with the, I suppose, with the earnings he made from, from us and from 200 other souls who to whom he made the same promises. We lost our home, we lost our way of life, we sold everything back to the walls, and we moved to a tiny little three-bedroom house in Cape Cod with all those children, but now we live there full time. And it took me a long time to not wake up every morning thinking of different things that could befall my husband that I wouldn't mind. And now I wake up in the morning and I'm glad to see him. We remain together and now we are on the verge of being happy again. It was a sobering experience and I thought I had passed up all the sobering experiences my in my life because I was widowed in my late 30s and I thought that gave me an express pass to having only good things happen to me for the rest of my life. However, my brother says to me, Jack, you have lots of luck. You just have both kinds. <laughs>